Hi guys, this is Karen. Welcome to another video. Well, this is exciting one. Well, okay. Uh, today I'm going to share with you how to do your makeup so it looks like you're wearing none. So you're going to apply makeup, but it's going to look like I'm not wearing makeup. I'm just enhancing my natural features. So that's what we're going to do today. I have a clean face. I just applied my uh, skincare and SPF. If I have white patches, it's because of the mineral SPF. So don't be alarmed. Everything is going to be covered. This is all about no makeup makeup look. That's another version of this uh, topic. So let's just jump into it. to welcome new visitors to my channel if you're new please consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell and we're going to start first of all no powders almost no powders I'm not going to use a uh, uh, blah, I'm not going to use a powder bronzer or powder brush or powder highlighter uh, maybe if I'll feel like I need to, I will add a tiny bit of powder, translucent powder, I mean. But that's only maybe, because again, we want to sh the skin to look like there is nothing. This is just me enhanced. So if that sounds interesting, then we are going to start. So no powders. And always the motto is less is more. Less product, it's more beautiful. So we're going to do it very, very minimalistic makeup. Okay, we're going to start with primer. I chose this one by Milk. I haven't used that one for just forever. Again, this is not something that is going to be visible, but I don't want to apply something that is too thick. Again, Less is more, no makeup, makeup look. So this one is called, what's the name? The name, Pore Eclipse Mattifying Primer. So this is a mini and it looks like a cream. It looks like a thick cream, but it is not thick. Um, you just apply it all over your skin or you can apply it like I do only at the t-zone and on my cheeks where i have a lot of pores where i want to mattify if i have oily skin it can also help with mattifying your skin mattifying from the word matte making your skin matte that's mattifying if you were wondering so basically i'm applying it to my uh, t-zone and you can see the reaction to my spf which makes my spf spf flake which is not what we're looking for but we're going to cover it with foundation so we primed now we're going to use bronzing drops now i don't have the fancy uh, drunk elephant ones, but if you do then please use them. I have this one from Catrice. This is the holiday skin serum bronzer It just need I just want to warm up my face a tiny bit before foundation, so I'm just taking a few drops To the well to my fingers and I'm warming this between my fingers and I'm just applying it to my skin and now I look orange but again this is just to give another layer and again less is more so I did not apply a huge amount but I do need a tiny bit more on my forehead so I'm just taking just really tiny bit more and we are sticking to less is more. So less product and can be spread on larger areas of skin. 
I hope it makes sense. So, maybe you know the Kim Kardashian sad. I don't need a filter, I am naturally gorgeous. This is the look we're going for, okay? So it will look natural. So we use the bronzer drops. Now, foundation. I chose this one by Dior, the Backstage. Oh, Backstage foundation in the shade 1.5. And this is, can you hear that? So liquidy. So this is what we need. Oh my God. SPF is clinging to my wrinkles on my neck. Blech. Blech. Okay, I have my damp sponge here, but this is so liquidy. I'm going to apply it with my hands and then thin it out with my sponge. So I'm just taking... I'm not taking a lot. That's enough, I think, for my entire face. Again, less is more. And I'm repeating it because we're doing a minimalistic makeup that's supposed to give us the look of no makeup. And if we will use a very heavy and a very thick and very high coverage foundation, then definitely this is not the look we're going for. We're going for something very, very light and invisible. So we're looking for the invisible makeup makeup look, right? Now, if I will need more coverage on spots, I will use my concealer. But we're going to show skin. That makes a lot of sense because we are using a very thin layer of foundation. I'm just taking lightly with very, very lightly, just, you know, maybe I left some fingerprints and I want everything to be even. Now, again, now again, yeah, this is not high coverage. This is not medium coverage. Very, very, very low coverage. So this is why I use my Dior Backstage because you can even hear it. It's very, very liquidy. This is exactly what we're looking for. You don't have to use the Dior. Use whatever thin, very thin consistency of foundation. Okay, now we can conceal, but I'm not going to conceal a lot. Very, very small amounts. This is my Natasha Denona High Glam Concealer in... Oh, where is the shade? 1N. So this I can use for spot concealing if I want to, but this shade is not for spot concealing because it's lighter than my skin tone. I am going to take a very small dot. Enough. I think I applied too much on this side. If I needed, uh, if I wanted to conceal something like I have uh, I don't know, some spots or something that I want to disguise, then, well, I'm doing it with my finger and then we'll go with the sponge. Now, let's just say I have a lot of pimples that I want to conceal. I can paint freckles on my pimples. And that way, I'm hiding them. I don't have anything, no f pimples today. So I don't need that. But if you do have, then freckles are the best camouflage. Again, we're looking for natural. So very, I use a very small amount and I sheared it out. Let's go like I have nothing. Like I have nothing. That's that's the motto of this video. Like I have nothing. So next up, we're going to bronze, and I'm going to use my cream bronzer from Soul Body, which is a sister company of ColourPop. This is their face and body bronzing balm. Mine is in medium. Okay. 
Oh, I'm, I'm sucker for the scent. Great scent, great product. Now I'm going to apply a small amount to my finger and I'm going to use this small amount to bring some sun to my face. I want people to think that I've been in the sun and I bronzed up a tiny bit and I still have more on my finger. We don't need any more than that. I'm closing it tight so it will not dry up. I'm taking a different finger and using my finger to blend, blend, blend. I want it to be like I've been to the sun. The sun loves me. I look healthy. When basically, um, I don't think that even if I would be, well, if I would be an entire day in the sun, I'll be completely red, not bronzed, <laughs> just so red, so red and pain and in pain, but this is just for appearance. So I'm going to be, I'm going to appear like I've been to the sun and I bronzed. So I have more product on my finger. I was able to swatch. So very, very small amount. It has to look natural. Less is more. Okay, we're going to use, of course, a cream blush. This is cream blush by a Sigma. It's called Pashim, Pashmina. This is the shade and I'm just taking, I took too much, just one swipe with my finger. Now I'm going to do very lightly, one here and one there. This is too much and I'm going to shear it out with my finger, not the finger that I used to take product, just the finger I used to dab the bronzer. So, I'm not adding more blush. I don't need it. Just shearing it out until I'm satisfied with the result. Just like that. I can add a tiny bit here on my nose. Just to give the appearance of, I've been in the sun. So I took a lot. Look how much I have left. I'm not going to use it, of course. Now, liquid highlighter. Very important, liquid highlighter. This is from Rare Beauty. This is their liquid luminizer in Transcend. So, now, just uh, for keep the, 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 the order right, if I were to do freckles, I would, I need to do it now. This is the stage for freckles, just to let you know. Okay. And also, if you need to powder, I don't. I don't need to powder. I don't feel like I need to powder. But if you wanted to powder, this is it. And if you want to powder, I'm just going to demonstrate. I'm not going to powder myself but I just want to demonstrate we are uh, <laughs> we're taking the powder and loose powder please I'm just taking a tiny bit to my lid that's definitely enough I'm taking I don't know if you can see that's enough I use my candied Revlon candied translucent powder a very small amount I'm dipping my brush and tapping off the axis and just applying you know what I will do it uh, on my t-zone so here here on my nose and on my chin and the sides of my nose and that's it I have so much left we don't need more again powder will make us look cakey we don't want that we want something that looks natural and What's wrong with the lid? It doesn't want to close. Why? 
I don't know. So if we want to do the freckles, we'll do it now. I don't need to do freckles, so I'm not going to do. I'm going to use my liquid highlighter. And again, less is more. So I'm not going to do that. If I will do that, I will have a lot, a lot, a lot of product. So I'm taking with my finger. This is another finger we didn't use yet. And I took too much. So lightly, lightly. One dot here, one dot there. And I'm, I'm using a different finger to blend. We're looking for a natural. Not something too wow. But something that will look like this is my natural self. Again, I have leftovers on my finger and I just swatch them on my hand. So really, less is more. Now we're going to do brows. I have, I found my NYX brow pen. Mine is in the shade. This is the brow tint pen. Oh, Lift and Snatch, where is the shade name? Made in South Korea, this is very exciting, Ash Brown. Okay, this is how the tips look like. I just hope it's not dry. No, that's not dry. And I'm going to use a very light hand and add, if I need to add some hairs. And I'm adding hairs as well here. And this pen is the best, best, in my opinion, brow pen in the market. And it's relatively affordable. It's NYX. I'm going to um, brush my brows so it doesn't have to be very accurate. I just want to add something to my missing brows. Fortunately, they went for a field trip and they did not come back. Where is my spoolie? Let's just take a spoolie and comb my brows. And that gives them a very natural look. I waited too long, I should have done first. I was so excited to find this one. Uh, well, of course, my daughter took it. And she's not using it, which is the most um, annoying thing. She took it and she's not using it. Okay, so this is the. these are the brows. As natural as possible. So look for a shade that is similar to your brow color nothing too strong something that looks natural so ash brown for me is the the perfect shade by nyx and i do i highly recommend this nyx this is the great brow pen i love it i usually use a brow pencil but i find that if i use a brow pen it gives it it looks more natural it looks like i woke up like this okay next up we are going to curl the lashes. I'm using a lash curler. I sold it for my daughter. I usually don't use a lash curler. I don't really like this one. I don't know where I bought it for her. But it's not high quality. I really need to buy myself an eye a lash curler that is more it feels like it's doing nothing right like I don't have any lashes that's really really weird okay I am going to use my no 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 why did I pick this up no 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 I'm using sorry about that Just put everything here um, I'm using my mascara from Catrice, the Glam and Doll Mascara. Where is the, sh the name here? Can you see that? Uh, I'm just going to apply a very thin coat. What I love about this one is that it's dry. 
it's a dry mascara in comparison to my NARS that I almost use. This is so wet and it's open for, I think, six weeks or so and it's still wet. And this one is dry and for me, for this purpose, it's great because my lashes will not clamp up. They will just look natural. So this is one eye with, one eye without. There is a difference because my eye, my eye lashes are kind of invisible to the naked eye. So I'm just coating. Nothing special about that. Just coating my lashes and trying my best so they will not clamp together and look as natural as possible. Now you can take a clean spoolie and go over them again, go over the lashes with your clean spoolie and that's also a possibility. Okay, so we did mascara, now we have lips. I have two products for lips. First of all, I have this uh, cream, Glide lip liner from elf mine is in the shade pinky swear i was looking down because i left the part of the packaging that had the name because i don't know where the name is i think it's here i can't see that i'm sorry now i'm not going to overline because overlining the lips will make them look unnatural so i am going over uh, the lips according to the lip shape but not overlining so inside the lip inside the lip and not overlining like that now I chose A lip liner that is similar to the color of my lips which makes a lot of sense I'm just taking my finger and blending it so it won't look so harsh okay next step lip balm i'm using my wet and wild this is rose this is the comforting lip color it's a lip balm it's one of those that doesn't turn they're turning only on <laughs> only to one direction this is a translucent transparent if you have a lip balm that is in the shade of your lips then it's also a great choice. I prefer translucent or clear. This is just my lips but a bit better. Now we're going to set everything with setting spray. This is new uh, in my collection. It's not new in the market. This is from the Beauty Corp. This is a hydrating dual phase setting mist, which has a scent of a cherry and it has a very nice mister. Oh, I like the scent of this. <laughs> okay, this is it. This is the no makeup look. So it doesn't look like I'm wearing makeup. It just gave my face some vibrancy I look alive I look like I've been to the Sun it looks like I have very luscious lips it looks great I do not contour my nose no no contouring my nose will make it look unnatural it will make it look like I applied makeup so I'm not going to contour my nose but this is the look so what do you think? Do I look gorgeous without a filter? <laughs> so this is no filter, of course. This is just me, uh, a better me, 
a no makeup makeup look. I think it turned out beautifully. I look gorgeous and it doesn't look like I'm wearing makeup. This is what I love about this all look. What do you think? Do let me know if you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget, don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Join my family here on YouTube. Uh, we talk a lot about makeup, mature skin, and maybe occasionally skincare. If there is something specific that you want me to review, then do let me know in the comment section down below. If you made it till the end, please let me know what do you think about the look. I would love to hear from you. So with that said, I will catch you all in my next video. Bye.